Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Moody Tones presets inside Lightroom Classic. These instructions also work for Lightroom CS4 to CS6. I'm going to show you how these presets work on a couple of different images with a variety of lighting conditions. Once you've installed your presets, they'll appear here on the left hand side in the Develop module. Before you apply a preset, you want to start by clicking the Auto Corrections preset. What this is going to do is guess the best white balance and lighting conditions for your image. It's not always going to be perfect, but it's a great starting point when applying the presets. And if you need to, you can later go and readjust the white balance. Next, you can jump in and apply one of the presets. So by just hovering over each preset, we can see how it affects the image. These presets are designed to be really dark and have some really deep tones to them. Each one is slightly underexposed to give a very moody feel. So choose a preset you think looks good with your image. And once you've applied it, go over to the right hand side and start to adjust some of the settings to suit the image. So I'm going to just bring the exposure up a little. I'm going to open up some of those shadows and maybe try warming the image up just a touch so we have some more natural colors in there. So we have before and after. Next I'm going to show you on a nighttime image. Again we're going to start with the auto corrections preset and then scroll through to see which preset looks best for this image. So I'm going to apply Moody Tone 3. And again, I'm going to go and customize this. So increase the exposure a little, bring up those shadows, maybe bring down the blacks, just to add a little bit more contrast. And I'm going to warm this image up just a touch. And there we go. So before and after. The next image I'm going to show you how to work with skin tones. So we'll start with the auto corrections preset. I'm going to choose a preset that looks good, so Moody Tone 4, increase my exposure a touch. Now I'm just going to zoom into the image so that we can see the skin tones a little better. Now the key to really perfecting these is to ensure that the skin tones always look nice and natural. So we're going to scroll down to the HSL color tab and to begin with I'm going to just change the hue of the oranges. We can either do it on the slider here and you can see it affecting the skin tones or we can do it by choosing a point on the image and just dragging up or down so we don't want them too yellow and we don't want them too red just something nice and natural next i'm going to do the same thing with the saturation so i'm going to choose a point here on the skin tones and just bring that saturation down just a little bit to make sure it looks really nice and natural and then the last thing, I'm just going to bring that luminance down until we get somewhere that looks really nice. So if we zoom out, here we are, there's our final image. We can customize this further if we want to by perhaps increasing the shadows, maybe increasing the saturation overall, and just crushing those blacks a little. Finally, I'm going to show you what these presets look like on a daytime shot. So I'm going to start with the auto corrections. Now, as I said before, the auto corrections is a great starting point, but you might need to tweak some things like the white balance and the exposure. So this has guessed the white balance for this image. I'm just going to go ahead and select daylight because I think that that's a better white balance fit for the image. I'm going to scroll over the presets. I think for this one, I'm going to go with moody tone 4. I'm going to increase the exposure and I'm just going to warm the image up slightly. The great thing about these presets is that you can really do a lot of the color control by simply increasing or decreasing the temperature and the tint. So I'm going to warm this up and perhaps just add a little more magenta into the tint of the image. I think that looks nice. So we have before and after. Welcome to the Moody Tones presets.